Hi, this is Chrissy from the Tiny Bookcase. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you a collection of books that I believe are truly lovely. And I hope you will too. Um, I've had these, several of them, for many years. So there might it might be difficult to find them. But I think a few of them you might be able to still find. So let's get started with the first book. This is the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. That is a huge mouthful of a title. Um, and it's difficult for me to say it most of the time, so that's why I was going so slow. This book by Marianne Schaefer and Annie Barrows was very sweet. I enjoyed reading this tremendously. And this was a gift. Um, actually, um... I believe that they made a series on Netflix um, based on this novel. So if you've seen that series, you might want to pick up this book. It's it's told in the perspective of um, letters, a series of letters. Um, Juliet Ashton receives um, a letter from one of the members of the society. Um, and um, becomes intrigued and decides she wants to to investigate further and there starts a series of letters um, and possibly even I believe a trip to the island but I will not talk so much about the story in this video um, partly because it escapes my memory the main like major details since it's been a while since I read this book but I really enjoyed it and I definitely would recommend it. Um, there's a little snippet from the back of the book. January 1946 writer at Julie Ashton receives a letter from a stranger, a founding member of the Gurney Gurney Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society and so begins a remarkable tale of the island of the island of Guernsey during the German occupation and of the society's extraordinary and of a society as extraordinary as its name. So yes, during this book, the the um, actual society, they were occupied by Germans and so they used the society kind of to disguise, to keep from the Germans um, things that they were um they didn't want them to know and so um they this story is really kind of like historical fiction i believe um so i would recommend it and i hope if you do pick it up you enjoy it as well so this next book i'm sharing with you is the apothecary's daughter by julie Classen, I think, um, and this book is about Lily, who works in her her father's apothecary shop, but she dreams of venturing out and seeing the rest of the world. Her mom actually disappeared years ago, and so there's a lot of people in town who um, whisper about her disappearance. And she's curious to know what happened to her mom, but her father really doesn't want to discuss it. So she gets this invitation from a relative to um, go on a trip, and she decides this is what she's been waiting for. And she thinks that, you know, she's going to finally, um, um, her dreams are going to be imagined. So um, this was a pretty um, fun read for me. I enjoyed the I, I enjoyed the characters and the story and of course there was some mystery in there with the disappearance of um lily's mom so i would recommend this book um if you are um interested in reading it i would i definitely would recommend it um and i would love to hear um if you in the comments below if you did read it or when you read it, how much you enjoyed it, or did you enjoy it like I did? 
So, um, this is definitely a recommendation. And I also think that there are some discussion questions included in, at least included in my addition. There were some discussion questions. So, if you wanted to use this, I, um, yeah, there they are. If you wanted to use this as a, as a group read, this would be a great book to do that as well because they already have some discussion questions in there. So, um, I again, I truly think this is a lovely book and I definitely would recommend this book. The next book I want to share with you is actually a collection of stories for um, young, young children um, or not necessarily long, young children, but for children. Um, this is a collection of stories about uh, women of the Bible. It's a retelling by um, Angie Smith and um, illustrations by Breezy Brookshire. And it's just a really charming book. It talks about several of the women in the Bible. And this is, it's very pretty. Um, and so they tell the story and then after the story, there's like parts where you, um, to read over to get um, more sense of the book and the tale it was, it was telling. Um, and I really enjoyed this book I purchased for my daughter, but I enjoyed uh, when I was reading these stories to her. I enjoyed the stories myself. Um, it's really a charming book, and I think if you purchase this book, you will truly love it. Here's a little snippet from behind the the back cover. Um, Girls need stories that inspire them to be brave daughters of the king, and what better place to look than the Bible? And for such a time as this, Best-selling author Angie Smith retells 40 remarkable stories of biblical women such as Eve and Esther, Rahab and Rebecca, and Martha and Mary. Angie offers a fascinating look at their lives and then links each story to today's reader by closing with a reminder about God's goodness, a character-building takeaway for girls, and a prayer that, per that parents can offer for their daughters. For, excuse me, daughter, for their daughter. Girls will love these vivid stories and stunning illustrations by Brizzy, Breezy Brookshire, and they will learn memorable lessons such as persevering when doing good, obeying God's at even when it's difficult, and remembering that he has a plan for their futures, just as he did for these women long ago. So this is... Um, a book I purchased for my daughter when she made her first communion and um, it was several years ago but um, I purchased it on Amazon so I'm not sure if it's still being sold there but if I find if I if I can find it I'll put a link down below but I really believe that um, you will enjoy this book as much as we have enjoyed it so I would recommend this book to you as well the next book is actually a collection of stories, um, the ultimate edition of Eloise. Um, I love Eloise. My daughter loves Eloise. Um, actually, when I purchased this book, um, I, ha I had yet to have my daughter, but I just loved it. Um, there used to be a series on HBO um, and of Eloise and I fell in love with her there, and when I saw this collection um, through a book subscription, I snatched it up. So there are several stories of Eloise in this collection, and it's adorable. And if you like Eloise, I think you will love this book as well. Um, I think it's great for your own collection, or if you have someone you have in mind to gift this to, it. I would recommend it. It is a truly beautiful and very lovely book. And we have enjoyed it in our home for many years. Um, I, I don't remember 
um, I know is a book subscription I belong to, um, but I'm sure that maybe um, it can still be found. I will try to look that up, and if I find um, if I find it, I will leave a link. The next book I want to share with you is the Jane Austen and illustration illustrated treasury so this talks um this book is is fully illustrated um and if you're a fan of jane austen as i am you would be very happy and pleased with this book it talks all about the life of jane austen and it is truly lovely there are so many beautiful illustrations um and there are inserts um, with with little mementos um here's this one and I I purchased this from Barnes Noble several years ago so I will see if they still have it available and if I do find a link I will definitely leave it down below if you are interested if you're a Jane Austen fan you might definitely be interested see these are illustrations um book illustrations and it's just very charming and lovely. I, when I saw it, I just had to purchase it. And um, I realized this one was from the movie. This illustration from uh, my favorite adaptation of Pride and Prejudice. Um, I love this Mr. Darcy, Colin Firth, um, playing Mr. Darcy. Oh, my goodness. And I can't remember the actress who plays um, Lizzie. But um, I... If you can, <laughs> I probably will remember by the end of this video, but if um, if you like, you can put it, her name down in the comment box below because I just blank it out. But yes, this are, and this is, um, these are just, it's just pretty. It's just really pretty. And if you're a Jane Austen fan, I know that you'll be interested in this one. So again, if I can find the, if I can find it, I will definitely leave a link below in the comment description box. The next book I'm picking up is, um, it's a children's book. It's Cinderella's Dress by Nancy Willard and illustrated by Jane Dyer. Um, I, I think this is just a beautiful book and a, tells the story of Cinderella. Um, it's, it's just truly pretty. And I just, I get so uh, hypnotized by these illustrations. And my daughter loved this story when I read it to her. And it's just, just beautiful. So if you love Cinderella or if you're just a big um, fan of children's, beautiful children's uh, storybooks, this is one that you would enjoy, I believe. Oh. Oops, <laughs> that was my daughter's certificate from the library for her summer reading program. Sorry about that, I forgot it was in there. But yes, it's just beautiful. This is the fairy godmother, and I, I, just, I just fell in love with this book. And I was so happy that my daughter received this. Actually was um, gifted to her for the completion of the um, summer reading program at our public library. Um, she completed the number of books for um, their book club that summer and she got to choose a book and this was the one she chose and I think she chose quite well. This is such a pretty book. Um, I will try to see if I can find it and if there's a way where you can purchase it i will leave that also down below in the description box um this other book that i is that i'm sharing with you is also a um it's a book about jane austen at ordinary extraordinary jane austen by deborah Hop hopkinson hopkinson illustrated by quinn lang I'm sorry if I mispronounced the name. Um, I got this for a Christmas gift. I I just 
I and I'm a big fan of Jane Austen and I just I really love this book when I received it um it is such a pretty pretty um book to tell the story about Jane Austen as a young girl and um I'm not sure if it's quite accurate but I enjoyed it regardless there are such beautiful illustrations and um I've my daughter has read this book as well so um there and she enjoyed it and so I think that if you love Jane Austen you would also want to add this to your collection or if you have a little girl in your life or someone you'd like to give this is a beautiful gift um book to gift so again if um this one actually was uh I think I found this on Amazon, um, or at least that's where I found it, but again, I was gifted it, so I'm not quite sure, but if they're, if they're still selling it, I will definitely leave the link for the book below, um, and here's a timeline, there's a timeline of Jane Austen's life in here as well, it's just, it's a, such a pretty book, and I think, um, you, you would enjoy it, I, I definitely recommend it, especially if you're a Jane Austen fan. The last um, books I want to share with you are actually a collection. Um, this I purchased many years ago at Wal Walden Books. And, and it's a collection of the first two books in the Narnia series by C.S. Lewis. So there's the Magician's Nephew, and The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And it's just, they're just very lovely books. Um, if you're a fan of this series, I think you would love it. It's also, um, it, it's also um, very easy for a child to read, I believe, on its own, on their own, actually. So this is the first book that started this. Actually, no, that isn't the first book. I thought it was the first book. That's the second book. Um, but it's probably the most familiar book. This is actually the first book, The Magician's Nephew. And this is actually my favorite uh, book of the series. So Diggory and his, um, oh, see how pretty that's a map of Narnia. I just, I just love that. I love when they include maps in storybooks. Um, Diggory actually is the main character of this book and he, um, finds, what is it? It's a way to get to, he finds rings. That's what it is. He finds rings that if you touch will take you to a mysterious place where you can enter different worlds. And him and his friend Polly explore some of them. And one of them happens to be Narnia. Now his uncle is not happy about him finding these rings. So he is going to try to keep him, keep them from the ring, rings. And... It's just really interesting to learn about Narnia before the lion, the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe, to understand how it was, how they, it was discovered, and um, a little bit of the backstory of the Jadis, the queen, the evil queen. So I really think that this, these are lovely to have in collection. If you are fans of C.S. Lewis. Narnia um series I think you would enjoy this these two books um unfortunately it was just a two piece collection but I would definitely recommend reading the series and definitely begin with the first book the magician's nephew I think you will enjoy it and understand a little bit more about the line the witch in the wardrobe the other books in this collection this series I enjoyed reading um some they're they 
tend to go into different characters, but you always go back to Narnia. So some people aren't as fond of those stories, but um, if you're a big C.S. Lewis fan and you like those, you like the Narnia series, you might enjoy them. So again, I want to thank you for joining me for this video. It is quite long, and I apologize, but if you would be so kind and would like to subscribe i would really appreciate it and again i thank you for joining me in this video and i hope you have a good day and god bless take care bye